What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to solve problem 2.22 of Griffith's 4th edition. The problem reads, Find the potential a distance s from an infinitely long straight wire that carries a uniform line charge lambda. Compute the gradient of your potential and check that it yields the correct field okay so just a brief review that the potential is given by potential at a certain point is given by or defined as negative of the line integral of the electric field dot dl Okay, and the limits of integration will be from some reference point O to your uh, to the point where you want to calculate your potential. Okay, so here when we calculate the potential at a certain point, it is important to explicitly set your uh, your your reference point. Now. As you will notice that we already know that from Gauss law, the electric field of a uniformly and infinitely long straight wire is given by 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times 2 lambda divided by S S hat. Okay, so we already know how to calculate this. Lambda is the uniform large, uh, line charge density. And if this is your line charge, that is infinitely long, this is your S. Okay? Now, uh, since the line extends to infinity, definitely we cannot use, or we cannot use infinity as our reference point. Okay, which we're going to show at, uh, in uh, mathematically later. Now, let's say uh, we set our reference point to be at some distance S, and let's call it letter A. Okay, so let's say uh, this is point A. So that means this is your reference point and the distance is A from your wire. Remember this is your wire. Okay, now computing for the potential. So this one S would be the point so this is now equal to negative integral of uh, electric field, which is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times 2 lambda over S, S hat, dotted with DL, which is S, uh, DS, S hat. And then the, uh, the limits of integration will be from A, to S. So that's how you set up your equation. Okay, so because it's a dot product, S hat is parallel to S hat, so this becomes a simple multiplication. Taking out the uh, the the constants here, so this becomes negative two lambda divided by four pi epsilon naught times the integral of, uh, from A to S, of dS over S, which is equal to negative 2 lambda over 4 pi epsilon naught times ln of S, which is, which is evaluated from A to S. So therefore, V at S will now be equal to negative 1 over 4 pi Epsilon naught times 2 lambda times ln of S 
over A. This is now the potential at some arbitrary point. Again, remember, this is an arbitrary point. Okay? Now, as you will notice that if uh, we let the, the usual, usually if we let the our reference point to be in from infinity because usually we assume that at infinity there's no potential. But because the, the configuration that we have extends to infinity, therefore we cannot expect that the potential due to this wire will be zero at infinity. And it is, this is shown here because, if, for example, if A is infinity, okay, this, be, this becomes S over infinity, which will be indeterminate. So that means there is no, uh, the, the potential at S cannot be determined if we set A to be infinity. The same goes with, uh, uh, sorry, if we set A, yeah, we set A to be infinity, this becomes zero. So ln of zero will be indeterminate. The same goes for if a is at the uh, a is equal to zero, so that means our reference point would be at the wire itself, which doesn't make sense. Okay, so again, a here will be an arbitrary reference point. Now let's check uh, if this will definitely yield the correct uh, field. Okay, so remember that electric field is equal to the negative gradient of your potential. Okay, so here we are actually using cylindrical coordinate system. Okay, and you will notice that the potential is only a function of S. Okay, so the remaining part of the gradient will only be this part. This is will now be equal to negative partial derivative of partial derivative of this potential with respect to s so this negative 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times 2 lambda the ln of s over a s hat okay so uh, so this will now be equal to uh, Negative, negative, so that's positive. So that's 1 over, so that would be 2 lambda over 4 pi epsilon naught times the derivative of ln of s over a, which is, uh, which is 1 over s. S hat, which is the same as this one. Right? Okay, so this confirms that our potential is correct. Okay, so that's it. That's our solution to problem 2.22. I hope you learned something today and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.